Once you've set up your drive, you obviously want to go and populate it. And uh, to do so, you simply need to go up to the new, click on the new here, uh, then you can choose to uh, do the uh, a new folder or file upload, but in most cases you're just going to use begin a new file. And in this case, we'll start off with Google Docs. We click on the Google Docs, you'll notice a new tab opens straight away, and our document opens up. You'll notice that it looks very much like a quite pared down version of the normal word processing pro applications that we use. Um, however, it's still quite powerful. First thing that we need to do is to change the name of our document. You can see up here in the left corner it's got the untitled document. If we click on that, then we can go in here and we can change the name to whatever we want to. Clicking OK, then changes, adds the name up the top up here. And that notice we can continue to rename it and so on. We can put it in a folder if we wish to. We can star it if we wish to, which indicates um, where the importance and so forth. What we'll do though is start off uh, putting some text in. So, and you can see, fairly simple, straightforward, and uh, off it goes. Now, of course, if we wish to, we can modify that text by going in here. We can change it using the various um, heading formats and other bits and pieces, or we can come in here and we can change it. So, we might change it to Ubuntu. Uh, we can change the size of the font there like so, we can go in and bold it up, we can italicize it, underline it, change the color, etc, etc. Uh, we can also change where the font, the uh, text is, uh, justify it and so on, we can change the spacings and so on and so on and so on. Over here we've got the various um, listing things or the bullet lists here, we can indent, extent and so on and so on and so on. Uh, and in this particular case we can clear all of the formatting and we'll take it back to the formatting that um, on. we can also change the input tools uh, so that we can use a number of other bits and pieces down here and so on or not uh, we can turn that off if we wish to um, now up here in amongst the various sub menus you can see here that we've got options here to share. We'll talk a little bit about that one again um, later. If we want to, we can uh, start off again. We can open up documents that might already be there. We can rename. We can make a copy, which is quite useful. We can move it off to a folder, move it to a bin. See the revision history, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Look at uh, various languages. Uh, we can also download it as one of those various documents there so that if we have to pass this document on to somebody else in um, in a uh, Microsoft Word format we can do that, we can publish it to the web and so on and so on and so on. We can also change the page set up there, you notice there we've got various different things there, we can change paper sizes and so on, change the margins, change even change the page colour etc etc and so on uh, and then do print previews and set for up here we've got the options here, the standard options to edit there, cut, copy, paste, etc, etc, find and replace, which is quite useful there. Notice we can also do the same sort of thing here in this little menu here. The views we've got, we can see um, it in uh, various forms, compact controls or full screen if we wish to. We can also show the ruler or not. Uh, in our document we can easily add other contents such as images. So if we click on the uh, insert an image there you can see that we can take a snapshot, we can get it from the web, we can upload an image, we can get it from other places and if we've got images in our Google Drive and so on and so on or we can even go searching for things uh, through um, Google and that will bring it in and we can also here change that so that we have to we can be searching for things that uh, doing it, um, sorry, we can search for images that have been uh, labelled for reuse. We can go in here also and change so that if we want to be looking for clip art and so on, so we can clip on that one there, select that and that will put the image in our document there, uh, just like so. Uh, notice we can also add links. Uh, add drawings, add tables, 
uh, we can do that in another format as well too uh, down here we can put page numbers in special characters put a page break in put headers tables of contents and so forth over here is another space where we can add formatting in uh, the next menu here we've got the options here to uh, do spelling the interesting one is research here if we click on research over here then we can it opens up a pane on the left here and uh, if we were going to go searching for things like uh, climate change we might go clicking on climate change here and it will go searching down here for things on climate change we can also go in here by looking at things that are uh, under the usage rights and so forth and we can use a couple of different um, um, citation formats there to do and that so we can uh, be looking for things in there uh, they will open up as you can see here a document over here and so on and so on and so on so that we can do that and that uh, we've got word count we've got um, other options here in the preference preferences here we can um, change things so that we can do other bits and pieces and, and specialize it to our particular desires. Uh, if we want to click in here and add a table, it's simple as clicking on along here and then choosing much the same way that we do with Word, like so. Then if we can go in here, we can go and in insert rows above and so on and so on. So delete rows, uh, delete whatever we want to do. Uh, the add-ons here are quite interesting. Um, we there are a range of different add-ons you can add to so if you want some uh, other additional clip art and so forth you can add in open clip art uh, so we can search for in that one and again that will open up um, another pane over here that we can go searching for through and depending on your thing um, uh, let's go just straight simple art over here but up but up but up we've got a whole range of different things that'll come in there and so on and so on uh, there are lots of other add-ons too if we go to click on get add-ons you can see there's a whole range of raft of different things that um, we can add into uh, Kaizena is a really really good one um, it um, does things as sources and other bits and pieces here and uh, these different add-ons are changing and being added to all the time and we can put those in there uh, and then we have the help here the docs help, etc., etc., etc. If we go back, we can undo, and we come back to uh, undoing things. Uh, let's just imagine that we've got this one here up to 30, so it's bolded and so forth. This particular tool here, uh, if we highlight the text, and we do use that, it clears all of the formatting um, and that. Now, you might have noticed up in the top up here, it says all changes have been saved in your drive uh, you don't need to and you can see down here under file there is no option down here to save uh, drive auto saves all the time as you're going along now it may be that you want to add a link out to something so you can simply click on the text insert a link there and uh, if you want to click that text that off to that one there text now I've got no idea what that one is you just simply apply that and it will provide a link to that particular thing you can link um, anything text and so forth and so, so forth now as I said there are a couple of different options over here that um, are quite useful and quite different uh, if you want to make a copy of this particular document you just simply click on there one there and it'll, it'll give that you can give it a different name and that will keep all of the formatting of that particular document and that so it's quite useful to uh, if you wanted to share that create something and then just use that same format over and over again the other one that's in here that's really really interesting is this revision history and if I click on see revision history you'll see over here that it shows all of the bits and pieces uh, that have happened now not terribly much has happened there but if I click on down the bottom here show more detailed revisions you'll see that here as I click through these you can see that we can go back through the document and see what's happened in that particular document now there's also another add-in that I haven't installed on this particular version that will actually play back through those revision histories and this is 
particularly powerful because you can look through it and see what's happening with particular children as they, uh, particular users as they work through that. Notice that if we need to, uh, we can restore to that version and that will take that back to that particular version. Now the other thing, and I'll just go back here and undo all of that, uh, and go to see my revision history again, come back here, come back to this one here, and we will restore to this particular version there. Uh, the other thing that you can do too that's really quite interesting is you can add comments and uh, to do that you simply highlight text there, you come over here um, and add a comment. Simply click on the comment button there like such uh, and that adds a comment directly within the text here and so forth. If you uh, wish to, anybody can, they can click on this and they can reply And do this and so that you get this this um, comment this discussion happening around the particular document if the comments if the uh, things been um, fixed up you just click on resolve and it goes away to bring it back again you simply click on the comments up here now the other major difference uh, between this and other um, documents and things is the fact that you can share. At the moment this document is set to private, only I can access it and use it. If I click on this one here, it gives me the options to add some people's names and let them be able to do certain things to the document. Or if I click down here with advanced, what happens is it brings up, there's a link up here, I can share the link out via various different things, I can invite people if I have their email addresses and so forth and allow them to do various things, or I can simply go through and um, choose it to be uh, either public on the web or anyone with the link being able to do something. If I click on that one there, then I can allow them to do various things to that. Save that one there, and that gives the uh, option here. Now you can see anyone with the link has comment, and I can change it at any particular time, so I can allow those things to happen and then turn them off if I wish to. Once I've done that, I click on this. Uh, sorry, I don't do that one there. That's done. That's done. And uh, all happy. Uh, if we go back to our drive now, you'll see down here in my drive, there's my test document there. If I close that off there, like such, and I click on this one here, clicking on it again, opens it up. There's my document there. It tells me it was last edited two minutes ago and so on and so on and so on. So there we are, very quick overview of most of the things that you can do with Google Docs.